Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment, and in today's video, we're going to be making custom laser cut trays for my UV printer. Let's get into it. Before I get started, I do want to mention that LogoJet actually provides the template files to you. So if you do have a LogoJet, make sure to contact them if you don't have that already on your computer and they can help you get the bed layout for your machine. If you don't have one available for your specific brand or model, I am going to be walking through the process of how you can create your own by using a dial caliper and just measuring your machine. So without further ado, let's get started. If you own a UV printer, many of the companies actually sell jigs and trays or they will make you custom trays out of metal that are very durable and will last a really long time. If you have a laser, you can make your own out of acrylic or MDF or something like that in a very cheap way to prototype things and test designs as well as just use the tray in general. So that's what we're going to be doing today because I do have a laser and I do have a UV printer and I have some coasters like this that I want to be able to print on. What I'm going to do is show you how I made the jig and I'm also going to give you a free download template that will work for the screw hole location on the UVX 45i from LogoJet. So many printers have beds like this that will have threaded holes such as this one, this one, and there's more along the back that you can actually screw into and be able to hold down jigs or whatever you want to do. So what I did is I took a dial caliper like this one and I measured the distance between the holes. So this one to this one was about 3.9. And then I basically measured between all of the holes around the entire bed to get the hole spacing. So that was step number one. Then step number two was running test prints to figure out how far in it would print from the edge. Because I want to set up my design in Illustrator to be able to print exactly where I want it to go and not have to do instances or anything in the RIP software. That's the method that I used to figure out where all of the holes were and be able to actually mock it up in Adobe Illustrator. So let me go ahead and show you the file so that you can download your own and not have to do all of that work. This artboard is set up to be an 18 by 24 inch artboard. So this is really set up in the laser orientation, not necessarily the printer orientation, but I wanted to show you where the holes were gonna be. So all of these red circles are the holes that I'm going to be using for the laser template. Now you can take the same hole locations and take them into a 12 by 24 or other sizes and be able to cut them to the size that you want based on your laser bed or whatever your template is. I'm actually gonna make one out of 12 by 24 inch stock initially, and I will show you what that one's gonna look like. But here is the template that's going to have all of those whole locations for the UVX 45i. This blue border is going to be your print area, so what is actually printable. And you'll see that that's actually shifted a little bit to the right. And that is because the holes, the first row of holes, is not actually within the printable area. As you can see here, this first row is just ahead of that printable area, but it's where I wanna be able to hold things down. So I did go ahead and include the whole area as well as all of the holes in the file, but you don't necessarily need to use all of that. So what I did is I took this and I translated it into the spacing that I wanted my coasters to be. And that is this file. So here I'd want to make some coasters for my family. Uh, we do still like the Marauders map design. So what I'm going to do is cut out a template that has this coaster spacing based on where I can actually mount it using the holes and then cut it on the laser. But the way that this template is set up is once I get the location correct in Illustrator, of where the print is going to land in relation to where the jig was cut, then I can throw coasters in here all the time, take the jig on and off, just come back to the Adobe Illustrator file and be able to reprint just like that 
and never have to have an issue with it being lined up. And I do not have to deal with all the little instances inside of the RIP software, making this so much easier for me and so much more streamlined in the way that I want to do things. Now that I have where the coasters are going to be in the print side, all I'm gonna do is take this and put it into a 12 by 24 cuttable file that I can send over to my laser. So I've already set that up. Over here, this is my file and it has the same spacing on the holes. I just copied those from that one template that I had with the border and the squares and brought it all into one file. So this is going to be the file that I cut into a jig and be able to bolt it down. I will tell you right now, I went through and had to iterate multiple times using some scrap material that I had to figure out the whole spacing because being off just a fraction of an inch made all the difference to where I couldn't actually screw it down to the bed. So after probably five or six trial and errors of getting the whole spacing correct for all of the holes, I finally have it figured out and we're going to be making it for the entire jig. But I will make the file available to all of you so that you don't have to go through the same thing. So if you haven't yet, check the description below. It will have the download link where you can download the file yourself and you don't have to go through all of that heartache. As I get ready to make this template and be able to print my own coasters, I do want to thank the sponsor of this video, LogoJet UV Printers. I've been using LogoJet printers for a few years now and they are phenomenal. The part that I love the most is being able to combine my laser with the UV technology to create very unique one-of-a-kind items that not only I can use for my kids or friends, but also sell them and be able to make my business profitable. So if you're in the market for a UV printer, you wanna add a splash of color to your items and to your designs. And if you have a laser, it is the perfect complement to be able to create unique, colorful, one-of-a-kind items. So if you're interested in bringing some color to your designs, check out the link in the description below or go to logojet.com. Make sure you tell them that Maker Experiment sent you and they will be sure to send you a sample pack of the things that they create on their machine so that you can get a real life example of the quality that they produce. Now that I've got everything set up, let's go cut out the templates and keep moving on with the project. I have my template right here. It has all of the holes in it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to screw this down to the bed. There are some screws that came in the silver kit that will actually work. They are countersunk screws, so they will sit flush with the head of the template if you screw them down tight enough. This is eighth inch MDF. Just make sure that when you are printing while using a template, that you are still making sure that the head is not going to collide with your material or with the template itself. Thankfully that UVX has the crash technology that if it does crash, it will stop the printer, but try not to use that. But I'm gonna line this up with the holes in the bed. These are countersunk screws, so they have a flat head that when you tighten them down, they should be fairly flush with the material. Next up, we're gonna put some of the coasters in, and I think I actually offset these a little bit to test the jig. I wanna test the spacing of the jig, so the whole intent of this is that I can just bolt on the jig. I don't have to do any kind of alignment or pre-test or anything like that. So I've gone ahead and put two coasters up front, two coasters in the back area. Uh, there's nothing in between. So I'm gonna run a test print and see if it prints on everything like intended. And if so, I'm hoping that this will be a jig that I can just unbolt, bolt back on, use the design file I have, and then be able to print immediately without having to do the alignment of where everything is with the instances of the items. So let's give it a test.
I have the coasters printed and this is how it turned out. I love actually how this printed. I printed the white layer and then I printed color and then I printed clear over it because I do plan to use these as actual coasters. And I did do a set of four so that I can have them for multiple people in the family. Now, a couple lessons learned on doing the templates because there was a lot of trial and error to get this to work the first time. And now it is repeatable for the future ones is you have to figure out where the print is going to land the first time. Once you figure out where it's going to land, I personally used Adobe Illustrator to shift my design in the X or Y position to make sure that it lined up and then resent it from Adobe Illustrator. A lot of people like using the Print Pro type software and the RIP software to do all of the spacing and instances and things like that for their designs. I prefer to do everything in Adobe Illustrator and then just send it straight to the printer that way and not have to deal with the instances inside of the RIP software. So totally up to you which way you wanna go, but I moved the whole design in Illustrator because then I can align it with the laser design and modify both at the same time if I need to. This will also make it so that the next time I wanna use a similar template, I will be able to cut another one and have it be printed correctly in the right spot right away. That's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. Again, huge shout out to LogoJet for helping me make this happen. If you have any questions about this process, go ahead and leave them in the comments below or you can reach out to me through email. But I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I will see you in the next one.